Oh my goodness, she fell off again. I've done this video multiple, multiple times, but you know what, don't worry about it. I got your back. We're gonna be able to get this together. And so in today's video, I'm gonna teach you at this point where you are in December, I'm gonna get you back on track. So the first thing I'm gonna tell you when it comes to getting back on track is that you need to start planning your meals again. Like you need to adjust your daily calories based on what you actually eat. So we know the success that you have when it comes to a belly burn, okay? And if you haven't done a belly burn and you're a member, let us know, we'll get you registered for the next one. And if you're non-member, then go to our website, www.fitclub.fit. Let's start you off with just working out five days for five bucks, then we'll get you into the belly burn. But when it comes to success, we have to plan for success. So the very first thing that you need to do is start pre-planning all of your food the night before you eat it. And if you don't eat that exact menu, at least you have a template built out so when you open up the fridge, you're not just grabbing the wrong foods, right? We're grabbing the right foods that we've already planned in. We know that fits in our caloric budget. It has their perfect macros. And if you need to adjust because maybe somebody brought a Tim Hortons donut to work and you ate it and so then you had to like add the donut and then get rid of you know a bowl of rice, that's fine. You can make that adjustment on the go, but the first thing you need to do is start pre-planning all of your meals in the tracking app. The second is that you need to meal prep your meats because if you have your meats ready to go, then at least your main macro is going to be prepared for you and then all you gotta do is pair it, right? You can pair it with like whatever you want, but at least you have your protein ready to go. And here's a quick tip is that you should make them tasty. Like there's tons of seasoning out there now that's crazy. You know, like I personally just like a little bit of salt, maybe not too much salt, but I can just eat literally like ground turkey just dry, <laughs> right? Like I can eat ground turkey dry, that's just how I eat. I just have eggs, I gotta have a just a little dash of sriracha sauce and I'm good to go, right? So find a way to make proteins tasty but have a bunch of them already prepped in your fridge. This way you're at, le at the very least forced to eat it or at least something's ready for you and you're not going for takeout. Then you need to get back on your supplement cycle that your coach gave to you. Now if you need to know which supplements that you should be taking, I made a whole video and it's in the description of the video here and there's a link to one of the YouTube videos I made in the past and it's gonna tell you which supplements, like what they all do. Those are the supplements that I recommend. My mission is primarily weight loss, fat loss. So if that is your goal, those supplements are probably gonna be for you. If you've gotten a supplement plan from your coach, then you should probably get back on that supplement plan. If your coach is obviously a fit club coach, reach out to them and just like, hey coach, would you mind just quickly looking over the supplement plan? If you're looking for them to build you out a whole brand new plan, you know, like I can help you with it. This is my full-time gig. But when it comes to the other coaches, you know, maybe get onto their next belly burn and they'll build you out a new supple plan if that's what you need or you can just send it to us and then we'll take a look at it and just give you a thumbs up, thumbs down, give you a little bit of adjustment. Then if you've fallen off, we need to double up your workouts. So my recommendation is if you can only do a double, which a lot of people say they can only do a double, like I can only do back-to-back -back workouts, and I'm like, oh, I think there's a way at least once or twice a week where you can do an AM and PM workout, okay? At the very least, you can do your one workout in the morning if that's what it is, and then you can do a virtual replay prior to that or after to that. So if you start work at seven and you normally work out at, let's say 540, so that you're done by let's say 615 and then you drive to work and it takes you 45 minutes to get to work or whatever, then maybe you need to start getting up at 445 in the morning and do a virtual at five in the morning and then you're warmed up for your actual class on the blue. You've just given yourself two different workouts. The body's gonna respond differently to those two different workouts, so you're gonna create a different level of results. Not to say that doing the same workout back to back isn't gonna result in results, but two, doing two different workouts in the same day is what I'd recommend for you if you wanna really ramp up and accelerate those, those results. Then, the obvious, you sign up for the next belly burn because nutrition is the toughest part at this point. If you've done a ton of workouts and you're not seeing the results and you haven't really been super dialed into your nutrition, meaning that you've gotten the right macros, calories, that you're prepping, that you're pre-tracking and that you're actually eating what you actually wrote down, 
then you need the accountability support and coaching that we're gonna provide for you in the belly burn. So what you need to do then is send us an email, north at fitclub.fit, mention the belly burn, and then we'll let you know when the next one is and if you qualify for it, but send that email to north at fitclub.fit. Do the things that I just told you and then falling off won't be falling off because you're gonna see double the results in half the time.